So I want to show you guys some really good beginner's mushroom hunting books. This is the one I started with. It is from Missouri Conservation Department. I'll put a link in the description below in case any of you are interested in checking these out. There is a few of them here I'm going to show you. But yeah, uh, Missouri's conservation website sells this, I think, for $16. Again, I will link that in the description below. I've shown these before, but I'm going to show them again because I get a lot of new subscribers. And a lot of people have been asking me about uh, mushroom identification books. You know, like a field guide. Now, this one here, yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty heavy. This is a very, very good book. Um, but you're not going to carry this with you unless you don't mind weight because it's pretty heavy. And there's a lot in here and it's not really a pocket guide. This one more or less is right here. And I'll go over that one also in a, in a few minutes. But this one is the one I started with. This is the beginning of the book. Tells you about how to ID stuff by shape. Tells you what pages they're on. I... Uh, different cap shapes, different types of mushrooms, poured caps, bracket, polypores, stuff like that. I highly, highly recommend this book. Now, I know it says Missouri, but it doesn't matter, guys. These mushrooms grow just about everywhere in the United States. It tells you if a mushroom is poisonous or choice edible. This is your main key guide right here star rating and then there's other little icons i have found these guys before two colored bleat let's see how it says not edible on that one um let's see if i can find a poisonous mushroom and i'll show you the key thing for that well you want to say hello, don't you? While I'm looking for something, I guess, well, you're going to walk off, huh? Here's one of the key things on the edibility section. See how it says it's four stars, choice edible. Be careful. There are lookalikes, deadly, not deadly, but poisonous lookalikes to this one. This is a smooth chanterelle. I do find these in Arkansas. They're actually pretty darn good, but you do have to be careful with those because jack-o'-lanterns look like them all right found a poisonous one and these do grow here in arkansas as well and i see these in the summertime they get massive there's your key guide it's very poisonous as you can see by the little icon there they're called green spored lepiotas i see them growing in yards everywhere uh really bad mushrooms i've seen kids playing with them many times and it's like oh it makes me so nervous to see that but there are Lots of recipes in here as well. Oysters Rockefeller. Never tried that. Probably be good. Lobster mushrooms. And green bean salad with goat cheese. Oh, here we go. Here's a really deadly poisonous. Well, that one actually is deadly. Destroy an angel. Very hard to ID. Um, really fairly common in yards. But it's deadly. It's poisonous, as you can see by the icons right there in the word. But yeah, there's that book. If you're just starting out and you want something with really good, colorful, big pictures that are really good quality, again, I highly recommend this. Maybe you're a little bit more advanced and you want something for the field, I would highly suggest this one. It's called All That the Rain Promises and More by David Aurora. This is an excellent little field guide. It's got really good colorful pictures in here. Tons of mushrooms, tons of different information, a uh, really good backstory on the author and gets into a lot of different things. Here's a little key guide, quick key to mushrooms with gills. And this is throughout the book. There's another one in the back section here as well. Uh, it goes over mushrooms, quick key guide to mushrooms without gills, such as your polypore mushrooms, uh, lion's mane, morel mushrooms, um, chicken of the woods, stuff like that. I think I bought this one on Amazon a few years back. It was like 15 bucks. I will put a link to them. Now, the Missouri book on their website, it's the cheapest. 
Uh, it's kind of like a pop-up thing to add to the cart. It's on page two. You'll have to scroll down, but you will see it on there. Hopefully, this helps some of you who have been asking me questions about what books I started with, what books are really good, which ones have good pictures in them. Hope you're all well, having a great week, and <laughs> I'll see you next time, bees. Well, you're going to yawn. Come on over and say goodbye to everybody. There you go. Oh, don't get too close. Oh, you got a frizzy head again. Bye for now.